Rieccoci tornati su The Stand Parable, io sono Eric e benvenuti nella seconda puntata in cui finirò prima il finale della scorsa volta e poi continuerò con un altro. E quindi tu si torna indietro. Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That mm. story would make no sense at all. Da, qui non ci dà meno. As soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Grazie mille, non avevo ucciso. Grazie, è un po' inquietante, ma grazie. Quindi, uh, test, 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 voce nella mia testa? Allo? Uh, sono le... Non è passato neanche un secondo. Mm. Nessuno che metta a posto qui dentro. Uh. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Oh, ok. Che credo. Quindi devo prendere la, la, la porta a sinistra. Se io prendessi invece una... Uh, Coca Cola che non c'è. Che bello. Quindi, sì, andiamo. Mmm. Mmm. Quindi tutto questo non potevo proprio farlo. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <coughs> When Stanley came to a set of two open sì. doors, he entered the door on his left. Che <laughs> no! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. Ma ma forse posso aprire questa porta? Che che figata! Ah, scusa comunque. Oh, che cazzo è successo dentro? Qui qui c'è qualcosa di sbagliato, sì. Ah, immagino di non dover entrare qui dentro. Quindi, se io rientro qui dentro. No, eh? Ok. Qui a sinistra. D -d Dimmi qualcosa. È giusto? Ah. Uh, buongiorno. Oh, it's ruined. You I can't believe after Cazzo. everything we talked about that you my story. You've destroyed my work. Why? Scusa. What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worth it. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. No, die. I have to. No. I have to. No, hey, hey, oh! Calma, 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 mi fai paura così, mi fai una paura della madonna. No, ti prego. Oh, Cristo Santo! thought he was so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine and you run it into the ground. What, did you think that would be funny? You just had to see? Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you You're a child. Oh, my story. 
If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so Ma, perfect. Sí, I worked vemos. so hard on it. I tried so hard. Oh, hey. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. <sighs> I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stan oh, oh, open doors, he entered the door on his left. Oh dio! Da! Non c'ha fatto! Non c'ha fatto! Non c'ha fatto! Non so cosa fare! Prometto che la prossima volta faccio tutto giusto! No! Why did you do that? Okay. Quickly. No. Hurry. Let's go. Oh, we pick up. Exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Ci sarà un limite massimo? No! Why did you do that? De Quickly. Hurry. Ok, adesso di là, basta Sì, grazie mille, apri la porta Ho capito Ho fatto una cazzata, scusa Basta Fai il suo Apri la porta Grazie mille Oh, vedi che ce l'ho fatta? Sono bravo Quindi mi ha detto un premio Tipo una promozione Yet oh. there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Okay. Uh. Hey. Oh. Do do I? Excuse me. Ah, okay. Uh. Quindi il nostro piano finanziario. La nostra azienda che produce, cioè che, che dà ser servizio di... Uh... Ok, comunque, allora, andiamo al capo, dai. Capo, che cazzo succede qua? I mi sa che... Questo era nella demo. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Ok. Oh, bel posto. Complimenti. Io lavoro in quel posto di merda? Ma vergognati. C'è nessuno? Ehi. Beh. Schifoso. Capo che sono in sala di riunioni. Mm. Quello è... Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. Devo... Ah, uh, lo devo dire? Ah... Uh, Night Shark 115 <coughs> Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. He spoke it into the receiver, right there on the wall. Night Shark 115. I'm sorry, is there a problem? You didn't mishear me, did you? Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. Night Shark 115 Fine, you're not gonna do it, but you can't. 
It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I ask you one single thing. Não só falar aí. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. No why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. Ma potessi? Cosa? Again to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. Okay. Stan, please. I I need you to make a choice. I need you to walk through the door. Are you listening to me? Can you hear me? Is everything all right? Stan, this is important. The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You can't be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. Do something. Anything. This is more important than you can ever know. I need this. The story needs it. So, you hear me? Are you there? Are you listening to this, Danny? Are you there? Okay. It's okay. I can wait. You need time to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. Hey, person, so, I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Take as much time as you need. Uh, mi dispiace, ma io vorrei andare avanti. Non è colpa mia. Eu juro que não é culpa minha. É que... É que eu tinha feito todo o jogo, eu sabia. Eu sabia que eu tinha feito todo o jogo. Bem... Não sei... So quanto seja durado precisamente este contato, mas... Eu acho que eu vou aqui, porque comunque não há tantíssimo tempo. Então... Ci vediamo alla prossima in cui farò tutto giusto, prometto, farò tutto giusto, farò tutto quello che mi dice. Per una volta, dopo lo cambierò. Comunque, se vi è piaciuta la puntata che non vi piace, iscrivetevi e ci vediamo alla prossima. Da Eric, ciao ciao!